So about a year ago, I wrote this article for Tom's Hardware about this Microsoft SSD called the Z1000, and this SSD in my hand right here is apparently the very same one. The Z1000 isn't something you can buy at retail, but instead it's seemingly an SSD specifically crafted for Microsoft, perhaps by Microsoft itself. Most of what we know about it is from a well-known hardware leaker that uploaded some pictures of it. We're told this drive has a terabyte of Toshiba flash memory, a gigabyte of Micron DRAM, and uses the 2670 controller from CNX Labs, a company that pretty much exclusively works with storage designed for the cloud. Because of that, CNX is a pretty low profile company, though it's backed by much bigger names like Dell, Samsung, and Microsoft. In fact, some of the biggest coverage CNX has ever gotten was over that Z1000 SSD. If you're wondering why this relatively unknown company is getting so much attention and millions of dollars from big tech firms, it's because CNX has something it calls open channel SSD technology, which I'm not going to get into. It's beyond the scope of this video and it's kind of complicated, but basically it makes latency in storage devices low and predictable, which is good for cloud storage. But because CNX is a private company and seems to work pretty closely with its partners, we really don't know what it's been doing doing or who even uses CNX hardware. Anyways, soon after I did my article about the Z1000, I just moved on to other news because there simply wasn't anything more to the story at that point. Until a few weeks ago, that is, when someone emailed me saying that they had gotten their hands on some SSDs, one of which they claimed was another Z1000 prototype. They included a picture, and while it did look somewhat like the Z1000, it wasn't exactly the same either, so I asked if they could send it in, and they did. Now, the reason why this person had emailed me in the first place was actually to get advice on how to get this SSD running. They had put it into a USB adapter and then plugged it into to a USB port, but while Windows did recognize that there was a device plugged in, it didn't recognize the storage. When I got this mysterious SSD, I plugged it into my Z790 Tai Chi Light motherboard. Now, technically I'm not supposed to do this because this SSD is 2100 sized, and this board only has room for 2080 sized drives, but in dot 2 SSDs installed at an angle will work anyways, and I wanted to test this drive on the fastest platform we have. It didn't matter though, because nothing I did got this drive to work. Windows didn't see any storage whatsoever, and even the BIOS did not acknowledge the existence of this SSD. I knew it was plugged in, because once I turned off the test bench and removed the SSD, the controller was warm to the touch, so it was at least receiving power. However, it appears that either the SSD is broken, or it's not compatible with normal hardware. I can't really be sure which one it is, because this whole open channel SSD thing might require special hardware and slash or firmware that, well, we're not going to be able to get that anytime soon. Although the performance of this SSD is a mystery for now, we can figure out quite a bit about this SSD and what it's made of just by looking at it. First off, we have some stickers on the front. The bigger one with the bigger text on it indicates that this SSD was made by CNX itself, and it's a one terabyte model, has TLC NAND chips, and uses PCI 4.0. There's also a sticker that someone wrote one terabyte on, in case we didn't believe it was a terabyte model. This other green sticker says WD BICS4, which looks like gibberish at first, but what it indicates is that this drive uses BICS4 NAND from Western Digital. BICS is a kind of 3D NAND that companies like Western Digital It'll produce, and 4 means 4th generation, which first came out around 2017. When we check the NAND chips, we can see that it's definitely made by Western Digital. Not all NAND has the manufacturer labeled this clearly, so it's nice that this information was here considering I really needed it. There's actually a product code on these chips, and looking it up led me to finding this PDF full of different kinds of NAND chips that Western Digital sells. In this list, we see this NAND labeled as Enterprise Components. And that makes sense considering that we suspect that this is a cloud storage SSD. The controller is the CNX 2670, which was first announced back in 2018 in a press release bragging about how good it was on a light on SSD. Now, the text on the controller has a bunch of stuff after 2670, so we don't know for sure if this is the same exact controller that the light on drive used, but it is the same as the one on the Z1000 prototype that was leaked. So given that we have a CNX controller and enterprise grade NAND, we can be pretty confident that this is not a consumer SSD, this is definitely a data center or at least enterprise level drive. But is this a Z1000? Well, I'm not really so sure. We do have a match on the controller, but that seems to be the only common thread between this CNX drive and the Z1000. For starters, this CNX drive uses Flash made by Western Digital rather than by Toshiba, now Kyoxia. Now, it's possible that there is a Toshiba version of this drive out there because it does have a sticker on it that says WD Bix4. Perhaps that's there because there's a Toshiba version of it, so they put the sticker on there to make sure that people knew that this was the Western Digital model, uh, but it's hard to say. We don't know for sure. And while both drives do have a 1GB DRAM cache from Micron, uh, they're not the exact same chip. They're still both a gigabyte and they're also DDR4, but not the exact same model. That, that may mean something, that may not. 
it's hard to say again. Not to mention, there's a major difference in the PCB layout, as well as the other components on the circuit board. Case in point, these Orge capacitors on the Mystery SSD aren't on the Z1000 at all, and there's also no mention of Microsoft anywhere on this drive. Interestingly, these orange capacitors seem to be the same as the ones used for LiDAR and CNX SSDs. I'm not entirely sure what this means. You might be tempted to conclude that this Mystery SSD is a LiDAR prototype or something, but LiDAR also used Toshiba memory, so... Once again, you're going to hear me say this a lot, it's hard to say. On the other hand, Microsoft is mentioned in that 2018 press release I referenced earlier, so there might be a significant amount of overlap between LiDAR's CNX project and Microsoft's, but again, it's hard to say. Another interesting thing I found was this engraving on the PCB that says 2018, which would mean that this SSD is from before the first PCI 4.0 motherboards were even introduced. But on the other hand, the person who leaked the Z1000 claims that the 1906 written on the controller means 2019 week 6, to indicate when the controller was produced. The CNX controller on the mystery drive also says 1906, so the 2018 engraving may just mean CNX used an old PCB. Um, so yeah, we really don't know anything about this SSD, we don't know how it performs, and we don't even know if it worked in the first place. But one thing I can be pretty confident of is that this is not Microsoft's Z1000 SSD. It, they only share the controller, and that's not really enough to make a, a positive identification. And sure, they do share the controller, and the controller is pretty important, but there's more to an SSD than just the controller. If you're thinking this is a somewhat disappointing conclusion, we're on the same page. It was pretty anticlimactic to finally get this SSD after waiting, I think like it took a week to ship, plugging into my motherboard and just seeing it not show up at all. That that was that was pretty sad if I'm being honest. On the other hand, it's nigh impossible to get your hands on a CNX drive pretty much at all. Th this one was from, I believe he said some kind of like recycling thing. Uh, that's probably why it doesn't work or maybe it didn't even work in the first place if they, if they put it in the trash. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was really interesting to get my hands on one of these incredibly hard to find SSDs. Unfortunately, this is not my SSD to keep and add to my collection. It'll be going back to the viewer who kindly sent it in so that I can make this video in the first place. Anyways, that's all I have to say about the mystery of this CNX SSD. If you enjoyed our analysis, then please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified the next time we upload. If you really enjoy what we do here at SI, then please consider donating to our Patreon. We really need it so that, you know, we don't have to shut down the channel. We're doing it for free so far. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.